How's it? Hey, Liz. I want to talk. Welcome to Mongoose Max Hawaii. The channel. Okay. How's it? It's Monday, September 23rd. September's going so fast. Okay, I just got back from Shakespeare on Sunday yesterday. She told <laughs> just me. Got back. We didn't really meet. <laughs> we just sort of like met at the Mall. Mm. But anyhow, I, you know, been following the politics so, you know, because there's important stuff to know and not to get too, you know, whatever about it. But you know what? Sometimes this politics is like closer to the election and just stuff starts to happen. I mean, it just started, I mean, I mean, I just think, I mean, who, uh, what? Well, how can, how can these people, I mean, criminal thugs, he told me. criminal thugs, amoral, just take over the elections with these illegal moves? How come we can't just get a, a normal person in politics that's going to be doing right for the people? And, um, you know, then there's the Nigerian election. <laughs> See what I did there? I said, <laughs> thought I was talking about the orange juice. And yeah, I am. The orange juice is, is, is. But actually, what I'm going to focus on right now is the Nigerian politics, the Nigerian Edo State gubernatorial or governor election, which includes a lieutenant governor or deputy governor in the Edo state in near the Congo in Africa so what happened they, they just finished the election okay the election they vote with the thumbprint the the two recap two giant parties that are both corrupt and this other third party the Accord party with our our hero dr. bright dr. bright their hero and so Dr. Bright is running on the Accord Party. The two major parties merged, much like if the Democrats and the Republicans mushed together before the election. I was like, what the heck? And they mustered up some under the table money, I suppose, well, just in their coffers. They illegally, basically, I would think, used money to buy off Dr. Bright's, the Accord Party, Dr. Bright's lieutenant governor, his deputy Redemption. governor. So they bought him off to bring him to that party uh, so Lamar? he wouldn't be able to run without a deputy governor or a lieutenant governor. But they got somebody and they ran and they did the election. But here's. I don't understand. Here's, yeah, you don't understand. Afterwards, they're getting some preliminary results. The main results on the 25th, but some preliminary results are zero votes. They counted zero votes. Something is a disturbance in the force. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Dr. Bright votes for himself, of course, because he can. So that should be at least one vote there. <laughs> They televised a bunch of people voting for the Accord Party. It's like, yeah, we voted for Accord Party. So there used to be a handful of people there. But the preliminary is saying Afraid. zero votes. So, so we're going to have to go to this uh, little thing here. Just a sec. A newspaper article. This one's online. It's the tribe. Spelled with a Y. It's in Africa. The informed tribe. <laughs> the informed tribe. It says, Dr. Bright Anabulele, the governorship candidate for the Accord Party, has accused the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, of conducting what he describes as the most corrupt election in Nigeria's political history. We have the dark side. Annabelle's claim centers around the alleged manipulation of results 
during the recent election, which he asserts undermined the democratic process, addressing journalists to in his hometown following the polls, and Boyle highlighted his experience at polling unit Ward 5, St. Xavier B -B -B Primary School, number unit where they voted in the local government election. According to Ana Bolele, despite voting on live television and being confident of securing hundreds of votes, the official results recorded zero votes for him. Quote. My election was recorded zero despite voting. It was on live TV that I voted. How come INEC recorded zero votes for me? He questioned the expressing disbelief over the glaring discrepancy. Ana Bolele further stated, quote, I am a candidate and my vote is is and my vote is not counted. The one result alone shows that the election results are not credible. So it goes on the electoral the only way to process a credible run to have an electoral is without human interference, because there's just like these corrupt people doing this stuff. And so it raises serious concerns about the integrity of the electoral process in the Edo state has sparked galls for the investigation into the INEC. <laughs> and their Death Star conduct during the elections. So, yeah, the dark side of the force, I mean, you know, come on, guys, get, get with the good side, you know? I mean, someone is tampering with the election results. Now, who does that remind you of? The people in power don't want to relinquish their power even if they're voted out hmm they'll do anything to get votes to make it like they won hmm that sounds oddly familiar i bet you we're thinking about yeah but you know the trouble about um about trumpster is he's got a bunch of election um trials coming up and his trials okay there's one more thing i gotta point out about trump sorry to be wordy today but there's so much stuff the elections <sighs> how many lawyers does trump need or how many lawyers does trump have maybe we should ask rudy giuliani see trump doesn't pay his lawyers and a lot of his lawyers wind up convicted and imprisoned and all that so you know how many lawyers are on trump's team about now Three. <laughs> Can't get lawyers. No lawyers for the orange man. So, three lawyers. So, all those uh, uh, Jack Smith special prosecutor delay it, pump it up to the <laughs> appeals court. Maybe we can get it to the Supreme Court because our, my justices will see me in favor because it's MAGA Supreme Court. So all those things where you have to do a thing in court, like make a file and do the thing, add the brief, all that stuff. Look inside. For all those places, Washington, D.C., Georgia, Florida, three lawyers are losing it. <laughs> because they can't, that's the only lawyers he got. He only got three. <laughs> and they can't keep up. And they're losing, oh, they're, they're, they're kind of going, oh, uh, judge, uh, we don't got time to do what you said we had to do with this uh, filing of this thing and this paper report. And <laughs> so the thing's unraveling. Now let's hope in Nigeria they get some justice. Superior. Superior, superior justice. But you know, Hawaii's got, Hawaii's got some chat too, so let's check this out. Yeah, try to be quick now. No way. No way? Oh. There's three. Th there's, there's, there's three. That's right. Three lawyers. The big island in focus. But we don't have time for that. <laughs> so offshore wind farm. <sighs> city of refuge, which I know someone needs city of refuge. And um, I don't know what's going on in sports. Yay. Football. Football's back with a vengeance. I mean, there's so much football. I can't, I'm not even ready to watch football. Oh. Oh, that does have saved Barry. The Rams won. Yay! And uh, Shager, Shager's back and doing his Shager bomb. See right there, there's a Shager. Shager bomb. They, they won um, Iowa. Yay! Um, something like that. And there's more football. Yay! Uh, I can get to see him watching some of that because it was it was relaxing for me before. I don't know. You know, just, you know speak it, just relax. You know, just, just, just. Here. 
Remember back in the day, that's right, back in the day, in uh, 1985, ah, when you wanted to relax, you just go and get something at the store. Yeah, that's what's, that's what's happening. Is that it? <laughs> Harry's Music Store is the place to find guitar strings, repair for a dented flute, dented flute, <laughs> like the little Jethro Tull action. Replace the synthesizer chip in order to obscure Hawaiian recordings. Learn flipping the bird to be do you. Hey, this is the place I remember that doesn't exist anymore. They it's changed, it's swapped out or moved someplace else. I had to go into this store and you have to go way into the back when I had trumpet. If you get the little trumpet mouthpiece, you have to go buy your little trumpet mouthpiece. Or if you're in sixth grade, you have to buy a whatever ukulele, <laughs> not a ukulele, the little recorder flute if you're in fourth grade. Oh, Harry's Music Store. Oh, pass one, pass one. <clears throat> uh, maybe finger on the pulse. Spent too much time. Oh, look at cartoon. There's only one true clown. Krusty concession. Krusty concedes to Donald Trump, the true clown. So they're doing, they're doing political cartoons like that now. Gosh. What can you say? Oh, and here's one about that Florida assassination attempt. Well, Oh, no, no. This, oh, the, no, there's a school shooting. There's so many shootings, can't keep track. Prosecuting parents of young shooters is unjust. What's next? Are parents who don't lock up the hostess ding-dongs going to be held criminally liable for their child's obesity? On September... Just don't buy the ding-dongs. <laughs> On September 4th, 14-year-old Colt Gray allegedly used a semi-automatic rifle to kill four people at his Georgia high school. Using the recent Michigan prosecution of Crumbly family as a template, Georgia authorities have charged Colt Gray's father with second-degree murder by what artful calculus are prosecutors arriving at this indictment? Is our justice system dispassionately rooted in the principle of personal accountability or blinded by the retributive passions? <laughs> Is it simply a thinly disguised mechanism of mob vengeance? In other words, does it seek someone or anyone to blame and punish as harshly as possible? In February, Michigan jurors knew what was expected of them and the Crumblies were wrongly convicted. Colt Gray's father will assuredly be a victim of the same travesty of justice. Scott R. Hammond, Aina Aina. Well, gee, thank you, Scott, there. We're talking in Tutu voice and bringing up that. No. <laughs> no. Uh, you know, that's exactly why, you see, under 17 is a minor, so criminal street gangs would send the underage guys to go do the bang bang Be careful. shooting because they couldn't get jail time, prison time for shooting people to get into their game. And so they had to adapt the law. It's like, why are you here? Convict. The 17 in certain cases you convict the 17 year old as an adult or 17 or younger as an adult so this is like one of those certain cases see the father isn't like being prosecuted because uh, they're just trying to put shade on the justice system and then put that over on orange juice <laughs> oh the justice system ooh, and the voting system ooh. No, the justice system is doing what it should be doing. See, because the father gave the gun practically to the kid who was Corrupt. just twisted in the head and going, oh, you're twisted in the head. Here's an AR-15. Let's go kill some deer. I'll just leave it over here on the coffee table in case you want to go kill some deer. <laughs> No, the father's way good. It's just like a com compliance, a complicit compliance, accomplice, whatever it is. Anyways, it's too much. Anyways, we have, uh, it's, 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 oh, it's Mitzvongers Monday. Yeah, can't forget Mongoose Monday. Almost forget. It's, it's, it's Monday. Anyways, have a good day. Aloha to you. Aloha. Bye -bye. Okay, welcome back to the guy. Just trying to make short, yeah? There's so much stuff going on.
birds. Aloha, aloha to you. Bye bye.